faster than yours. Haha, uh -huh, I'm winning. Now I'm gonna show you something. Whoops, sorry. How do I get off the horse? There we go. Okay. All the buttons. Every single button is different in this game than Assassin's Creed 3. Ugh! This is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? Exactly, how do you think you I'm still alive? You pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. You had a fear of three-headed dogs there, Cassandra? What? Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Cassandra, wait. You mustn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. Yeah, and when they were throwing my brother off a cliff, you told me not to interfere. Well, you didn't, but I was told not to interfere anyway. I can't stand here doing nothing. I'm going to help them. training to be had if I just leave them here to die. Let them learn from their mistakes and let them try again. This whole no interfering when something very clearly is going wrong policy is bullshit and I will not abide by it. Is he okay? Mater? No. Oh god, is he gonna die? Do I lie just to give him comfort? I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm not your mother. But I'm sure she's proud of you. Tell her I'm sorry I yelled. I was angry. I didn't mean to. He died with honor. His death was unnecessary. What are you doing here? Saving his friend, his brother, whoever it is. I mean, we were just passing by, and I did help fight the wolves. They'll be mad at me if I told them I interfered. <laughs> However, there is no shame! I am proud of what I did! What are you gonna do, throw me off a cliff again? My god. I mean, we were just passing by. Oh, I could say I fought off the wolves, or I could say I didn't. Fuck it, I own it. These boys were in trouble? I thought I'd help. No, she didn't! Don't lie to me, boy! You should be ashamed of yourself! And you... These boys are weaker now because of you. They have you. a chance to get stronger the because of me! The army will be weaker because of you! I should kill you where you stand. Fucking try. right. What happened? I couldn't just stand by and watch. The Ahogi is what turns boys into men, and soldiers into Spartans. And boys you into have dead only made ones! Them weaker by interfering. What good are they to anyone if they're dead? Thank you! Cassandra, please. This isn't Kefalonia, Naxos, or anywhere else. This is Sparta. And breaking Spartan law can get you killed. Nothing Believe can me, kill me. Mater. I know exactly what breaking Spartan law gets you. Come. Let's go home. That training is ruthless. You don't that have to be strong immediately. The best of those boys so will become stupid. It's not effective. And stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules and they are strict. Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Ilotas. Enslaved peasants made to work the fields and mines. Slaves? Where are you going? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fed, and Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, the Cryptia are ordered to keep the peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Good day! Most. 
No dog. Oops, I did not mean to hit you. I apologize. Come on. Madre, why don't you get on the horse? Ella. I'm giving my legs a break. <laughs> Spartan law, my brother and I would both be dead. This place looks kind of ominous. I never thought I'd find myself back in Sparta. It looks so peaceful, despite the war raging elsewhere. This is. This is Sparta! Oh, God. Yeah, I don't like it here. I don't really like it in Athens either, honestly, but. The whole thing is you have to be tough or you're useless, that whole mindset. I hate it. Okay, where are we go? Oh, this is our house. This is our old house. I remember this from the flashbacks. It's our house. In the middle of Sparta, our house. This was the first... And last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Is there a reason Nicolaus you're taking was me a down top memory lane here? Please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me, she's going to bring glory to Sparta. I don't think he was cruel. But he was definitely stupid. <laughs> As much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day. But for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Good. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your brother? I think so. Yeah, that was in one of the flashbacks, right? I was scared I'd break him. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held him so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of him. He turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Brasidas! Hey! Please don't hate me! <laughs> Good to see you, Brasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Brasidas. Oh, you two know each other. True. You're alive. Many oh, that's right. I suppose he dead are knew still that breathing. Story. When I heard the two of you came home, we're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Brasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nicolaus's disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it. Oh, that he guy! He returned from the war. What's his name? Stentor. Stentor. I knew I should have killed him on the beach. Like the the, the vampire woman in the Blue Palace. <laughs> Seville Stentor. That's who that is, right? How do we get it back? What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't that be That means easy. sucking up to their Why rules. Not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Archidamus. He's the sage. Your then. exit from Sparta wasn't exactly graceful. Archidamus. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. He's got Tell us. the sage. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Ilotes are slaves, right? We, yeah, we just had this conversation. I'm trying to remember all these new words. Why would Spartans help the slaves? Where will I find these Spartans? Or I guess they're not slaves, they're peasants. I mean, okay, fine, they're slaves. Where will I find these Spartans? What should I do when I find them? So, I find the soldiers. Then what? Spartans are loyal to their commander. Take him out, and the rest should disperse. And the weapons? Destroy them. The Ilotes have caused enough trouble with shovels and sickles. <laughs> the last thing Sparta needs right now is them carrying swords. Okay, so they clearly don't want... Spartan food and Spartan protection all that much if they're using weapons to try and free themselves. Clearly they want freedom. <sighs> I realize this was a very long time ago, historically, but... Again, I just got finished playing through Assassin's Creed 3 and the whole freedom thing. Yeah. 
Where will I find these Spartans? They were last spotted in the Gorani Marble Quarry, in the forest of Europe. God damn me and marble quarries lately, God. Why would Spartans help the Ilotas? Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotas? Ilotes greatly Ilotes. outnumber Spartan citizens, but they're leaderless, mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, armed them, and trained them, they'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. I can do that. It's like uh, what the High Sparrow says to Elena in... God, season four? Season five? You are the few. We are the many. And when the many stop fearing the few... So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> Find me in the throne room when it's done. And okay, you so he doesn't seem to hate I me. Raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. So wait. I thought his tomb was the place that Hirodotos and I visited, where the spear showed me his death. What the hell is a lion doing here? I am... I just realized you're a mercenary. I'm gonna go now. Bye. See ya. Multiple quests accepted, huh? Uh, okay, which one should we do first? I kinda wanna do the one... Okay, so these are prerequisites to this. Got it. I can meet my mother at the tomb of Leonidas, or I can find out why the Ilotes are being armed. That's pretty far. The other one's only 184, so I guess I'll do that one first while I'm here. Sure. Let's go meet my mother at the tomb of Leonidas, which is this away. Oh my god. Okay, well, there's the tomb of Leonidas. Kinda, was kinda hard to miss, honestly. Maybe one day they'll sculpt the statue of me. Unfortunately, no, Cassandra. Leonidas. He was Sparta's last true hero. Oof, okay. We'd all be under the yoke of the Persian Empire if it wasn't for his courage. The same blood courses through your veins. Yours too. I don't believe it, it's not a big deal, or I've never forgotten. I mean, what do you mean I don't believe it? Like, is that me saying, like, I'm my own person? And I don't need my lineage to define me? I don't know, but I kind of really don't want to say that. So, our blood is the blood of kings. You are so much more than a mercenary. You carry the blood of heroes, blood of power. Remember what I told you? That people would try to take that power for themselves. Oh, and right. then you promised. I wouldn't let them. Hold out your spear. Just out here in the middle of the street? Oh god. All of this talk of the Pythia, the Pythia, I do not care what she says. Enough! We have grown tired of your insolent tongue. Sparta will not go to war. The Pythia has spoken. Pythia says what you tell her to say. She has been your puppet for far too long. The time has come to cut her strings. Oh, Leonidas, the days of heroes are over. You think your blood makes you special? If we opened your veins, it would spill to the ground and disappear through the cracks. You are no one. Well, ouchies. You are more than welcome to find out. Your fate is sealed, son of the lion. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. You're hot as fuck, I don't care. Divide the pit. Thanks for that history lesson, Firebird's child. <laughs> Everything you stand for will perish.
Gather the men. My king? Xerxes wants Sparta. She'll have to go through me. So he dealt with the call too. Oh snap. That's wild. They were a little less secretive Incredible. about it. Now, do you understand? <laughs> All standing around her what like we I don't do control her. We embrace our destiny. Okay. Both of us. If we don't stop the cult before it's too late. Then all Leonidas fought and died for was for nothing. Our bloodline has reason to those who would enslave us. It's time we rise again. Well, well, well. Mother and daughter oh, united in Sparta at last. And look at you. Goddesses among mortals. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. Pausanias. Oh, We're shit. Honored. It's the other king. Okay. I'm sorry to hear about your father. I should have gathered that from yes. the leaves around your forehead. Our fathers would have been proud to see us here today. You remember Cassandra, my king? Who could forget the girl who died to save her brother? Such a tragedy. An innocent child put to death because of an ancient, merciless law. And you're the king? I, I, well, I assume he's too busy squabbling with the other king, and that's why nothing ever gets changed, right? <laughs> it's like the, 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 the co-manager position in the office. <laughs> it definitely did not work. That was so dumb. Um... What? He was like, oh, if we opened your veins, your blood would spill through, would spill out and seep through the cracks. You're nobody. Your blood means nothing. And now there's an entire branch of the cult of Cosmos called Worshippers of the Bloodline that worship our blood like we're something special. Make up your fucking mind, cult. So, uh, you don't sound like most Spartans, yep. <laughs> Ancient and merciless. Most Spartans live and die by these laws. But you sound more... Progressive. That's definitely the word and I would you use. you sound like you've been rubbing elbows with Athenians. I mean, I've been to a symposium or two. <sighs> In any case, Sparta was weakened by losing you. Losing you both. We're examples of why these laws must change. Oh, I agree. But King Archidamos, if he could put Spartan law across the chest of every citizen, he would. I've spent my whole life looking over my shoulder. If Sparta is to be my home again, I'd rather it be a peaceful one. <laughs> Peace at what cost? When Spartans aren't killing, they're training to kill. And when they're not killing Athenians, they're declaring war on their own people. But we're not here to talk about the dead, are we? We know Sparta reclaimed our house after what happened to my father in Megaris. We want it back. Mind your tongue, child. You may not live in Sparta anymore, but I'm still your king. Please? We graciously request an audience with you and King Archidamos to discuss reinstating our citizenship and reclaiming our home. Of course. There is nothing I'd want more. Oh, okay, so now you're nice. Archidamos, however, <laughs> this guy still has hasn't forgiven me for disorder the or what? nose incident. What can we do to sway him? There's rumor of a Illot rebellion, and the Kreptia are stalking the flames. Good Savagely yeah. killing Illots, stealing livestock, and leaving corpses to rot in the streets. Well, that the Kreptia represents Sparta's ultimate achievement in military training. Their discipline and fearlessness make Sparta's army the most feared in the world. Is that Once, like guards? But the Kreptia have become corrupt and bloodthirsty. And training boys to kill unarmed peasants is nothing to be proud of. Do you want your home back or not? I mean, yeah. Good. So the Illots will no longer support the senseless slaughtering of their people. Mm, tell me about this guy. Is there anything I should know about King Archidamos? Traditional, brutal, boring. Archidamos values the old ways over the welfare of his people. He sided with the elders that day on Mount Taietos. <laughs> Republican. My mother spoke of these Kryptia. What can you tell me about them? They are the hidden ones. Hand-picked at an early age, starved and trained in isolation. Hidden ones, huh? They must steal and kill to survive. If they succeed at their training, they become the king's guard. But why have me killed them? For years, the Kryptia kept the peace between the Illots and Spartans. Troublemakers and threats among the Illots were dealt with. 
But lately, these Kryptia have been killing men, women, and children without reason or mercy. Babies ripped from their mothers and fed to the wolves. The Kryptia have become a breeding ground for ruthless savages. Well, based on what you told me, I would have to agree. So, <laughs> Arachnid, whatever the other king's name is. There it is. Archid Archidamos. Archidamos, whatever. I'll just say that. Um, he's using them to, yeah, right? That's a thing that's happening. And where would I start looking for these Kryptia? One can be found in the fort on Zarax Point. Another was assigned to guard the Spartan leader's house. The third is more elusive. He was Ugh. last seen in one of the villages west of Hilot Hills. He's definitely the loudest of the three. Okay. <laughs> if killing Kryptia will get our home back, I'll do it. Okay. So I'm just... Oh god, there's three of them. My lord. Or two of them? What? Uh, okay, wait, that's 1,500 meters. This one's way closer. Let's go for this one. <laughs> I miss Kefalonia sometimes. Life was simple. Even if Marcos was a bumbling idiot. <laughs> he was. I've done that quest too, by the way. There was an, on another island, I bumped into him again and helped him out. <laughs> so I've done that as well. Yeah, this is... It's a game of politics, right? One of these guys is the sage, whether it's... Parmesan or Arachnid, <laughs> whatever their names are. Uh, it's one of the two, and I don't know. At first, I was like, okay, so Arachnid's definitely the sage, but oh, I'm getting odd vibes from Parmesan, man. Oh, the trouble if I'm spotted here. So I'm just I'm killing dudes. Okay, that was a whole lot of nothing. That's my target. Uh, there is a whistle button, right? Why am I not remembering the whistle button? I mean, there is, right? Not that. It's not the side D-pads. Up is eagle. Down is... Okay, holding down calls my horse. Tapping down... Nope. Tapping down definitely just gives me my horse. Oh boy. There's an awful lot of you hanging around there. And obey. It's the kind of blind devotion the Templars love. And away! <laughs> I'm out of here! <laughs> Everything went better than expected. <laughs> 